Hi, and thank you for watching my video. I am Nerkoids, and I made this video to review two products. One especially, the Behringer B1 a Studio Condenser Large Diaphragm Microphone, and also from Behringer, the Xenix 502 Little Mixer. Great little mixer, great microphone too. In fact, I'm speaking to you through the microphone, about six inches away from the front, and to directly into the computer without using any effects whatsoever, not even compression and uh, no noise reduction as well. So you could probably hear the fan of my computer in the background, uh, which I guess is uh, a little noticeable. Well, what can I say about the microphone? I think it's uh, a great microphone, good quality. I've used better microphones in the past. I've used some AKGs. I've used uh, A. Newman. And I, what I mean by A. Newman is that they don't grow on trees and uh, they're fairly expensive. But uh, I was able to touch one and I was able to listen to what the sound was. And, uh, of course, a great sound, those microphones. And the AKGs, too, especially the high end. Do, does this microphone compare to them? On a base level, it does. But in terms of subtleties and in terms of, of ultimate quality, uh, it's not in the same league at all. But you want to know something? It'll work in a pinch. It's great, especially for amateur musicians like myself, and perhaps like yourself, if you're watching this review and considering buying this thing. What it comes with, it comes in a case, and it comes, of course, with the microphone, with uh, also what they call a shock mount or a spider mount, which is good to cut down on vibrations, and also it kind of looks cool. It's a very good quality build of a microphone. It's fairly heavy, too, and so is the shock mount. And finally, last but not least, it comes with a foam filter, which acts as a windscreen, which is what I'm using right now for... For speech, it works perfectly fine, as you can see, and it can do vocals okay, but if you are a powerful singer and you like to use the P's and the B's and the T's and the S's with a lot of percussiveness, your best bet would be to purchase a what they call a pop screen or a pop shield, which is far more effective and in some cases uh, sonically more transparent. I'm running this microphone actually through the Xenix 502 uh, little mixer and it's not even, I'm, I don't even have it full blast and I'm getting a really good signal as you can hear. The sound is very balanced, lots of definition in the high end and uh, pretty decent in the low end. On the microphone itself it has the option of a low cut filter at 75 hertz and it also has a minus 10 dB pad which is very handy if you're you, if you're miking guitar cabinets with this, or if you're miking a drum kick, because, you know, they expend a lot of energy, and the minus 10 dB, well, it's good for uh, cutting it so it doesn't distort too much. Really can't complain about this microphone. It's really good buy, and as I've mentioned before, prosumers like myself who do music at home, or if you just want to do voiceovers, this microphone is perfectly fine, and it's a really good buy, and I highly suggest it. So thank you very much uh, for watching and especially listening to this video. Please feel free to, to add comments or ask questions uh, down below. Thank you.